and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Mutt 10 player. It is Friday, October 11th, and you guys know what that means. Today's been a pretty big day. We have a lot of limited time in packs, guys. So, if you ever wanted to pull a limited time card, now would be the day to probably open packs for them. We currently have limited time Alvin Kamara and Kamara. Alvin Kamara and packs for like, what is it, like 12 more hours? We got a little over 12 more hours. You guys get the point. We got Alvin Kamara, George Kittle and packs, the new Mutt 10 player that just came out in packs. We have quite a few things in packs right now. So I'll probably be opening my monthly rewards and some get a gold for you guys on camera in a little bit. For a video you'll probably end up seeing tomorrow. So you, I could try to pull one of those cards. Hopefully we can. Be really cool if we can get our first limited time pull ever. We have still never pulled one in Madden history. I'm pretty hyped to go try for that. We have our monthly rewards ready to go and some get a gold. So I'm pretty hyped for all that, guys. Now, today's Mutt 10 player. Before we go into it, let's do a little predictions before we actually go check what it is. I like to check when I get into it. Let's do a little predicting here. So, I've been saying for weeks, my biggest prediction is that today will be Deion Sanders. We got a safety left. No, we got our safety. We got a defensive lineman left, a wild card. We got an offensive lineman, and that's it. Right? Cornerback, defensive lineman, wild card, offensive lineman. If I'm not mistaken, that's what we have left. Because we have gotten, we've gotten Vic, Randy Moss, Calvin Johnson, Bo Jackson, Patrick Willis, and we've gotten Rob Gronkowski. So it could be a cornerback. I'd imagine they save the wild card for last. So cornerback, lineman, or offensive lineman. I'd, I'm thinking Deion Sanders today. Thinking Deion Sanders. Could I see a Jason Taylor type guy? Yeah, but I'm thinking Deion Sanders today. That'd be pretty awesome. Although I would hate to see Deion Sanders as a limited time because that does indeed mean that he's going to cost way too much to get. On the bright side, you can power him up to a 90 or potentially a 91. I think he would be a 93. So you can potentially get a 91 overall powered up Deion Sanders to toss into your team, which I'd really love because a 91 Deion Sanders will still be one of the best cornerbacks in the game. So I'm really hoping that's the move here today. We'll know in about a few minutes, guys. Before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button, boys. We are so close to 10K. We're about 250 subscribers away from 10K. We're getting closer and closer every minute. Thank you guys so much for the support. Make sure to smash that button and come join the 10K squad before it's closed out. Turn on that noti bell, boys. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up for the Mutt 10 reveal. And make sure to comment down below who you think it's going to be before watching it. You guys read the title already. All right, comment what you think about it. All right, guys, and quickly, don't forget to play your solo challenges. Don't be me. Don't be the guy that you saw live on camera. Sadly realized he never played his Vic solo because he bought him instead. And I thought that's how I got it. I thought I got his power from the solo challenges. I was mistaken, guys. Don't be that guy. Make sure you're playing your solo challenges and putting your tokens into those sets. Now, let's go back over to Twitter real quick to go check out the Mutt 10 player. All right, guys. So it is indeed Deion Sanders, kind of like we were hoping for. It just got released on Twitter. Guys, I'm partially upset. At the same time, partially not. Now, what I'm upset about is that he's a 92 overall which means that we can only power him up to potentially a 90 overall so that kind of hurts him because he's not going to get any thresholds but most likely he's not going to get most thresholds here as you guys can see because he does only his his man he will hit threshold zone he will not so he's still going to be a this power up still going to be a god like um blitz man coverage corner the only thing is that his zone might be a little bit low but with the right cams and the right power coach mad you can really make your dion still a absolute beast but i'll go over all that in the video guys let's go back i mean later in the video Let's go back to the beginning of this card and start the way we should. He's a 92 overall cornerback. That card art looks really familiar. I don't remember what Madden it's from. Whoever remembers, comment down below what Madden that was from. That card art looks crazy familiar. I don't remember what it's from. Really cool card art, though. Um, let's see. He's got 49 salary cap. He's got that chain and lock thing looking there, so he's probably pretty locked down. It's probably his archetype. I don't know what that archetype's called. I gotta really learn these archetypes. Limited time powered up, obviously. Remember, guys, go get his solo challenge done as soon as you can. Get his power up. He's six feet tall. Average height for cornerback, in my opinion. That's kind of like, that's not too tall, not too tiny, just right in between. 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. Like I've been telling you guys, I told you guys this two weeks ago when Champ Bailey came out. Don't take the bait. Champ Bailey always looks amazing, but then Dion comes out and has all thresholds and then has better speed, better excel, better agility, and better jumping. Dion's always the better play. Hopefully, with the right stats on this Dion, you can make him a beast. Super hype for him. Let's see, 92 speed, 92 excel, 92 agility. 89 jumping, 89 excel. So, 92 man 90 zone he has almost all 90s across the board you power this guy up right here he's got all 90s across the board this is when i start to shed a tear for the fact that i didn't play the solo challenge and i don't get a free deon sanders 
because that's really going to hurt me because I don't have to pay for this card, which means I'll have to wait till Series 3 for a Redux version, potentially, although that might cost way too much. I don't know how he's going to slot into my team, though, because I do have Ramsey, Gilmore, and I have um, Ramsey, Gilmore, and Willie Brown, so I'll maybe have to sell Willie Brown off and replace him with him, but that would require me to get quite a bit of abilities on this Dion to make him rep rep uh, usable, I'm going to use the word, but if you do get the power version, he'll have a 90 speed, 90 excel, 90 agility probably, maybe maybe a little more depending on what they do with him, 87 jumping, 87 play rec, 90 man, 88 zone, so with the right cams, he'll still get the zone threshold, he'll still get the man threshold, unless EA is messed up and they give his power up like an 85 zone or 86 and they knock it down a bunch, press obviously always sucks with Dion, but if the power up's right and the way it should, you could get the zone threshold, man threshold still, Play rec threshold will be close, and he'll still be uber athletic, so I think he's definitely worth a scoop as soon as possible, which means that I'm going to have to go get my training up a little bit. Let's say I got about a 1,000 training here for Dion, and I'll probably go sell off Willie Brown, although a lot of prices on cornerbacks probably dropping as we speak, which makes me regret buying Jalen Ramsey about 20 minutes ago, because I did indeed buy Jalen Ramsey in terms of uh, waiting for my solo challenge reward. I figured that was a good idea, guys. Now, in my opinion, guys, what you don't want to do with this Dion Sanders you don't want you definitely want to leave him in space you don't want to put him locked on the corner on the wide receiver i promise you for you guys who don't know how Deion sanders plays if you lock him on a, on a wide receiver and you put him one-on-one -on -one and you press him he will get burnt he will get burnt bad he's got 77 press although he's fast trust me that press is horrendous you want he's not although in real life he was fit he had his physical times in the game of madden you can never make him he's never physical so don't put him on anyone and don't try to hit stick anyone with Deion sanders Trying to hit stick with Deion Sanders is letting up an auto touchdown, if, especially if it's a running back. I've learned my lesson of trying to tackle with Deion. With Deion, you want to you wanna backpedal, get a safe tackle, lead him to the outside, and just play it safe. If you do press or try to get physical or hit stick or tackle with Deion, he will get destroyed by a running back and even wide receiver. So definitely be careful how you take Deion, how you treat Deion. Because if you play in the right scheme, trust me, he's going to get a lot of picks, a lot of pick sixes, a lot of kicker to touchdowns. But do not try to use him as a physical guy. Maybe always keep him on the whatever side you think people run to the most. Probably keep him on the opposite side. He's going to get exposed and run coverage, which is why I'll probably keep him in the slot. I'll either keep him in the slot or as my second corner. I don't know exactly where I'll put him yet. He can be a number one, but as long as you have him in the right way and you have him in the right packages, he'll be great. Especially the full version. I'm talking about the powered up version here, guys. Now let's head back over to the Madden screen real quick. Let's go see how the cornerback market was affected real quick. See if anything's going down in price because the Dion announcement. Usually things do go down. Andrew Luck's down a little bit. Vic, you still, Vic's still okay. Let's check out the cornerback market. We're going to head on over to Ramsey and all them. I really hope I didn't just lose a lot of coins on Ramsey. I wanted him for weekend league, knowing that Dion probably come out today. That wasn't probably my smartest idea. Let's see. Willie Brown is around the same price. Okay, not horrible. Gilmore's down a little bit. Ramsey, where you at? Ramsey is okay still. Thank the Lord. Did not lose too many coins on him. Now, guys, remember, quick little tips and advice here. Make sure to go over, play your solo challenge as soon as possible. Usually the first few people who can get the uh, the Rams, not Ramsey, the power up card of Deion Sanders. If you're one of the first guys, you can toss the thing on the auction block for like 40, 50K. Someone with a lot of coins will indeed buy it. Trust me, I've seen it happen. I've seen guys like Brian Dawkins and Shannon Sharp and Michael Vick's guys sell for like 50K initially. And then all you gotta wait is like 20 more minutes and everyone's gonna have them. And when everyone has them, he'll probably end up selling for no more than about 6K. So get this challenge done as quickly as possible so you can secure your token, secure your power up card, and then go power them up, guys. I even had a 90 overall. That card's still gonna be a top three corner in the game, right behind Ramsey, right there in line with Willie Brown. He pretty much has similar stats to Willie Brown, just take away the press and add athleticism. And he can also kick return and play some other aspects for you. So that's where I stand with him. Definitely gonna toss him in the lineup. I guess I gotta get rid of Stephon Gilmore, which kind of sucks, because uh, I can't exchange set him or anything, so I don't really know what I'll do with him, guys. That kind of does suck a little bit, but make sure to play your solos, guys. We're so close. We are like three to two weeks away from receiving our free player. If my math is correct. And you guys don't want to be on the wrong end of that. We're about three. Three to four weeks, actually. Three to four weeks away. So you guys want to be on the right end of that. Make sure you get your free player. Nothing is going to be worse than not getting a free limited time card just for playing things that you guys have probably done most of already. But that is it for the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching as of late. Thank you guys for all the support. I appreciate all of it. We're so close to 10K, boys. Let's keep the grind going. Let's get to this. Let's hit this final stretch, cross that 10K finish line, and then keep grinding from there to our next big goal, which I don't know what that'll be. Probably 15, 20K. But guys, let's make it happen. Comment down below what you think of this Deion Sanders drop. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, guys. Get this video to 200 likes. Thank you so much for watching. Check out all the other videos I posted today. And my get a gold pack opening that will probably be going up tomorrow on me trying to pull these in a limited time. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. See you guys next video. Peace.